Thank you for joining us on the Financial Pastor Podcast, where we discuss everyday truth from God's Word and how it applies to our daily living. And hope this will help you, encourage you, draw you closer to the Lord. God bless. Welcome back to the podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate you. Uh, we're in Joshua chapter 20. It's been going through the book of Joshua, if you've been listening. And uh, verse number one says, The Lord spoke to Joshua, saying, Appoint for yourselves cities of refuge, which I spoke to you through Moses. And it dropped down to verse nine. It says, These were cities appointed by the children of Israel for the strangers who dwelt among them, that whosoever killed a person accidentally might flee to him and not die by the hand of the avenger until he stood before the congregation. You say, what's that talking about? Well, they didn't have a police force back then. Uh, they didn't have, this was their, this was their justice system. And so if you killed someone accidentally, you could flee to this city and they would let you in based on your case. And then they would hear your case. It was a neutral site. And if you were found innocent, you could live in that city of refuge, but you couldn't leave that city and you could not be harmed. You couldn't, couldn't go back to your hometown, but you could stay there. And the, the avenger of blood, which was somebody from the family uh, that you had killed, a family member of the person that had died, could not take revenge against you. And so it's just like our modern day justice system where someone commits a crime, uh, they're pr innocent until proven guilty, they're held to a trial, and then uh, they cannot be harmed during that time period. It applies to us today uh, very clearly that we, we need to run to a city of refuge. So it's if you read up and study the city of refuge in the Old Testament from Joshua, the roads were marked very clear to get there. Uh, it was only a day's journey. Everybody was accepted. It says there, whether you was a children of Israel, was you a stranger, if you had done something, uh, you could you could run to the city to avoid the avenger of blood coming. And so for you and I, every person that lives has to run to the city of refuge, which is Jesus Christ. Uh, the road is marked very clearly. It's the way to safety. Uh, the avenger of blood, which is your sin, is trying to catch you and kill you, spiritually speaking. Uh, you're running from death, sin, and the grave. And uh, there's one way to have hope. There's one way to have peace. And when you get to that gate, Jesus Christ, there's a trial. They're going to ask you, why should you be able to enter in this city of refuge? And the only answer that you can have that will suffice based on the Bible is that, hey, I have done wrong. I am guilty. But I am asking to enter based on Jesus Christ and his redemption, his payment for my sin. We're all sinners. We're all uh, found guilty. The Bible tells us there's none righteous, no, not one. You can look at the commandments of the Bible and see very clearly that that's the case. But because of our uh, sin, God demonstrated his love that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus Christ took upon our sin. He died on the cross for that. And he gives us his righteousness. If you believe that, if you accept that, that's the big difference. It's an action. Um, you can believe a bridge will hold you, but you actually trust in it when you walk out on the bridge. And so you trust in Jesus when you accept him. Repent of your sin. Acknowledge that you're sinful and believe in him. Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I believe you died for me. I want to be a follower of Jesus. I want him to be Lord over my life. He was the boss of my life. You enter the city of refuge, uh, which allows you to enter heaven, which allows you to be forgiven of your sins, which allows you to have redemption uh, for all your past wrongs. Also, a city of refuge is those that have uh, entered in, but they've gotten off track. Church, you could put in verse one, the name church, where it says, the Lord spoke unto Joshua saying, speak of the children of Israel, appoint for yourself cities of refuge. How about churches of refuge? A church should be a refuge. You're hurting, you should be able to come to church. Wave the white flag. Say, I need help with my finance, with my marriage, with my um, attitude, with an addiction. I need help. You can come to church. It's a place that should be um, a place where you're loved, where you're cared for, where you're encouraged, where the Bible is preached, where the Holy Spirit can work to help you overcome your problems. And uh, if you're not in a problem, then you should be 
like the ER is, the doctor, the nurses, who when someone comes in, you're that person grabbing them. What do you need? Tell me what's wrong. Let me help you. Let me encourage you. Let me pray for you. Let me show you in the Bible how to get through this. Let me help you grow in the Word of God. That's what we're here for. The church is to build others up that are going through struggles, guide them in the right direction. The church can't save you. You can't save yourself, but Jesus Christ can, and the church can guide you in the right direction. And once you're saved, believe in Jesus, the Bible's the basic instruction before leaving earth that you can be guided to follow and it'll make your life better. You have more peace. You have more fulfillment. You have more purpose. And uh, you just got to be disciplined to be consistent and persistent, staying focused on living the heavenly way and doing what God wants, not what we want. And so the city of refuge, it's Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. He is the one that can help you. He can save you. He can get you through difficult times. He can give you the purpose in life and you got to run to him. And the church is a place that if you're hurting, you don't want to come. It's natural. I talked to a guy earlier today. He was all tattooed up and said, I don't think a church would accept me. I said, we would, and Jesus would. And uh, the devil tells you you're through. You've messed up too many times. I see you from the inside out, uh, a perfect child of God's. And if you turn to him, he'll make all things new, and you can move in the right direction with repentance. And I pray you'll do that. And uh, hey, get in church. You need it. The Holy Spirit works. It guides you in making good decisions to help you through this life. Hope that helped you, and I uh, hope you have a good day. God bless. Thanks so much for listening to the Financial Pastor Podcast. Uh, if you have more questions or like to reach out to me, feel free to do so through email, brandon at alcova.com. Uh, you can also go to our website, victorybaptistcf.org. Also on Facebook, you can find us. And we'd love to hear from you if you have any questions. And remember uh, to be encouraged. God loves you. God's got a plan for you. Just continue to walk closer to Him. God